Hello everyone, I'm Tugai, geography teacher and a researcher. Today I have prepared a new video for you. It seems to me that for every person who loves geography, Singapore, the country of the future, is very interesting and wants to visit it at least once in his life. In this video, I will try to give you detailed information about why Singapore is called the country of the future. Dear followers, before continuing our video, I have a request for you. As you know, our channel has just opened and we need the support of you who love geography. Please subscribe to our channel, like the video and share the video link with other people. I would like to thank each of you in advance for watching our video. Now, if you are ready, let's begin. As we announced at the beginning of the video, today we will talk about Singapore its geographical location, economy, and most importantly, why Singapore is called the country of the future. Let's first look at the position of the Singapore on the world map. Singapore is a city-state in Southeast Asia located on islands separated from the southern tip of the Malacca Peninsula by the narrow Strait of Johor. It borders the Sultanate of Johor, part of the Malaysia, and the island of Rio, part of Indonesia. Singapore's area is 733.1 square meters, according to 2022, gradually increasing thanks to a land reclamation program that has been operating since the 1960s. Currently, the state of the Singapore consists of 63 islands. Its capital is the city of Singapore. According to the latest statistic of 2022, its population was over the 5 Point nine million people. Singapore declared its independence on August 5, 1965. Most of us know what's the main factor behind the development of Singapore today. Many of you may think of it as Singapore's main sea and air routes from Europe to Asia and from Australia to Asia and Europe has rolled here. This is the natural because about 40% of the world's maritime trade passes through all this region and the Singapore Airport serves as a gateway for many countries for long distance flights and all this brings the country 10 billion dollars in revenue annually. But logistics is not the main reason for Singapore's development. It's true that I used to think like you, but later I researched and came to the conclusion that the main reason for Singapore's development is education and investment to human capital. So, despite being one of the smallest countries in the world today, Singapore is considered one of the most developed countries in the world. Singapore, which was a poor Asian country about 50 years ago, is today ahead of most countries in the world in many areas, especially in education and high information technologies. According to QS Asia University Rankings 2022, National University of Singapore, it ranked first with 100 points. The owner of the third place is also located in Singapore. It is Nanyang Technological University. In general, Singapore is considered to be the country where foreign students go to study the most among the countries of the world. Now, I would like to tell you about the most interesting part of our video about the high technologies of Singapore. Let me introduce you to seven technological advancements that make Singapore a smart city. First, self-driving cars. The concept of the self-driving cars has excited for decades, fascinating the minds of skiffy lovers. Singapore is going to turn this dream into reality by introducing the world's first driverless taxi system. It might be odd for the foreigner to enter a car and realize there is no driver in here. Yet, Singaporeans are steadily getting used to this technological miracle. There are plans to introduce driverless cars that people can book using their smartphones. What's more, the government accepts to realize driverless buses by 2022. Those vehicles are going to become an inherent part of the streets and public transport in such areas as Punggol, Jurong, and Tenga. Self-driving cars will significantly contribute to infrastructure development and to Singapore becoming a smart city. Second, hiring robotic police. Although Singapore's crime rates are already some of the lowest in the world, the implementation of the technologies into police performance creates even more problems for criminals. 
Last year, the Singapore Police Force started using special drones to conduct aerial searches. Quadcopters can reach heights of 60 meters. Engineers equipped them with powerful sirens and searchlight that is 10 times more powerful than car headlights. Besides, the ground space is also now patrolled by boats during special public events. They are completely autonomous and use per planet path to navigate. Since boats are equipped with cameras, they open possibilities for remote surveillance. Third, smart living in Singapore. As a core element of Singapore's vision of future life, HDB Smart Enabled Home Initiative aims to advance daily living by making homes smarter and cooler. Today, every Singaporean can make their home smart by installing device and application in a smart-enabled home. A utilized management system not only helps you stay calm and be sure that you have turned to tap or light off, but it also allows you lower utilized bills. There are also an elderly monitoring system that uses sensors and alters to monitor the well-being of all elderly relatives when they are home alone. Smart home technologies are now advancing at the highest pace, so it's only a matter of time before people have self-sufficient homes. 4. Smart streets. Singapore is currently aiming to make its streets smarter by installing lamps posts that can lighten up avenues while brightening the city technological feature. Those new lamps are equipped with sensors and analytics systems. With the help of sensors, it will be possible to monitor environmental changes, such as temperature, rainfall, and humidity. Besides, there will be also noise sensors that can wreck the noise, noises like someone screaming or a car crash. Moreover, the plan is to equip the lamps with face recognition sensors to promote the safety of Singapore's streets. Fifth. Robots Among Us Recently, Singapore introduced robotic stuff into the workforce. There are 488 robots per 10,000 employees in Singapore, and in this term, it's the second most advanced country in the world after South Korea. Industrial robots usually perform minor tasks like fetching and returning service items, but this little change makes the workplace look much more futuristic than ever before. The introduction of the industrial robots is only the first step towards creating a smart work environment. Recently, the students and staff from Nigi and Polytechnic Institution developed robot codes that can provide physical training for all people. Singapore strives to incorporate robots into the medical industry to promote its efficiency. For example, robots already dispense medication, which makes this process faster and brings down the waiting times at pharmacies. 6. Cashless Payments Smart living implies comfort in every aspect of life. That's why Singapore is shifting toward a cashless payment approach to rid people of carrying cash and staying in long item lines. Today, Singaporeans can pay via QR codes at restaurants or retail shops using only their smartphones. Payment can be made through SAC Bank Vault apps, NetsPay, DBC, PayLa, OSPC, PN1, and the UOB MIT. In fact, with the development of the cashless payments, people will steadily stop carrying any cash with them. It's accepted that not only muggers will be out of business after several years, but the payments will also reduce illegal trade that relies on cash. App payments and cashless payment methods are now widely used across the country. This practice puts Singapore one step closer to the cashless nation. 7. Merging with virtual reality. Speaking about the smart city concept, it's impossible not to mention the most popular trends of the modern days, virtual reality, VR, and the argument reality, AR. Since argument reality combines the virtual and real worlds, it makes it possible for business to engage users with their products remotely. Today, every Singaporean can try on clothes, makeup, and even add furniture to their homes by holding a smartphone. Probably the most ambitious VR project is Virtual Singapore. It aims at creating a digital three-dimensional model of the city. This project will become a test bed for Singapore's government business and resources with the help of those who will create a more resilient and smarter city. We are also offers a vast opportunity for entertainment. 
Singapore is a cradle of the world's leading virtual reality development companies. They bet on what opportunity offered by VR and already fascinated gamers with new gaming experiences. Singapore Smart City Final Tasks While the time travel mission is not invented yet, it's still possible to look into the future by visiting Asia's technology capital. Singapore May their futuristic spirit inspire you to participate in the creation of the future. Cheers! We have come to the end of the another interesting video. If our videos catch your attention, please take a few seconds and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you!